Okay, see, here you go. Here you go. Okay. I love you. No, you don't no, need I can't to stop just saying stop saying that, okay? I can't. I love you. Um You don't understand. I've never said that to anyone before. You guys uh Get you down. know work together on Brokeback and uh I'm curious what um, you learned about each other as working actors and as people that helped you get comfortable with each other in this film. Well, I knew Jake was a great guy. And I knew that he was a gentleman because, you know, we had done a love scene together in Brokeback Mountain. And although those weren't, like, two of the most important factors in why I decided to do uh, Love and Other Drugs, they certainly didn't hurt. And, um... And I, honestly, like, it was a better experience than I could have even anticipated, even knowing how good it was going to be. It just transcended everything I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I mean, I think that broke back was special for everybody involved, and it brought us all pretty close. And so the nature of that, we were already pretty open with each other. But I think Annie and I saw the potential of being more open with each other because we only worked for eight days together yeah. on that movie. Yeah. And um, we saw that there was something there. And then when this came around, to me, it felt like a no-brainer. I think for us as actors it did, but I think for her, she had a little bit of questions about the character itself. So um, in her questioning whether she was going to totally commit to it, it actually brought us closer even more because yeah. I knew, safe to say, I sort of we did a little begging, you know, and promised you that it would change to make it as good as it is now. Promises that you made good on, by, by the way. Yeah, I mean, why? why that's a bad thing to promise something and to not deliver mm. it's pretty lame um <laughs> but um but you know like uh i think that 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 trust was there and then it just the the potential of that was there and so it just grew what was this kind of debate with the character that you were having before and what were you questioning about it um between what you saw on page and then what ultimately ended up in the film about your character well i think that there's a lot of um <clears throat> high risk aspects to the story and to the character there is a lot an unusual amount of nudity in the film um, there's an unusual amount of emotion in the story and it just seemed to me that if it wasn't grounded in, in something honest that would explain it all mm -hmm. that we were all on the same page about it um, I didn't know that the, those risks would uh, would make sense when I got the script it really was a love story about a man who's uh, sorry it was a story about a man who's been changed by a his woman. love for a woman yeah. and I thought in order to make all this make sense it has to be a story of two people who are changed by love and I, I just wasn't sure how up for that you were going to be I didn't know if that was the story Ed wanted to tell and you guys both assured me that it was yeah it was I mean I think what worked in the script from the very beginning beyond anything else was the connection between these two people. I think what works yeah. in this movie beyond anything else is the connection between these two people. Everything else is secondary to that connection. And everything else is fun and exciting and lovely to watch, but it's their connection that drives the story. And I think Ed and I knew, and then Annie kind of reiterated to us that that was the only thing that was going to make it really work. And we were all game for that. And as soon as we were all game for that, then we went for it. And I think it really does work. Now, you guys both juggle, or rather battle, um, tabloid culture celebrity gossip. What I think will be striking to audiences is how intimate of, you know, scenes that we see you guys in. Was that easy to kind of leave at the door? The choices I think Annie and I make as actors are always based on character, regardless of what the, the you know, the movie ends up being or whatever. It's always that. And, <clears throat> and it just so happened that in order to tell the story right, we knew we'd have to be intimate and naked together, yeah. you know, <laughs> uh, figuratively and literally. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't, I, I never crossed my mind. It's like, that's a question that came up a lot with Brokeback Mountain, you know? They'd mm -hmm. say like, well, did you ever think that this it was like, no, the story was beautiful. We made the, we made the story because the story was beautiful. I know that's hard to believe, mm -hmm. but you know, the truth is that's the reason why. And that's the reason why we did this. And now we have to deal with a lot of questions about how naked we are in the movie, but the truth is we made it because we love the love story yeah. and people get naked when they're in love, so. I'm sorry, I know it's so late. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Turn around! <laughs> <laughs>